Hi, I'm Joe from Annex Solutions. Behind me is our Annex setup, shade walls and awnings. Let me show you how we put this together. We're going to set up an anti-flap kit and curved rafters on a rollout awning. Uh, and this is how we do it. So, again, flick the switch. Bring the rollout awning out. Now, what we do, we don't pull the awning all the way out. We bring it, so that strap is sitting at 12 o'clock. Once that's set to that, we get the crossbar, bring it out, awning up to where we want it to go, close the thumb screw, bring the awning out. So we do the same to the front, bring your crossbar out, set that height, close your thumb screw, bring the awning out. Then what we do is tension the roof out. We come back to the other one, close that out. Once we've got the awning set up in the right position, we need to fit the anti flap kit. So what we do is we pretty much have the strap facing back to the van. So if you have that at three o'clock, then that'll be where the holes are located, just underneath the awning vinyl. Then what we do is we get the anti flap kit itself, put them together, and then we're undoing the black handles to lift up the flap on the bar itself. So the reason we're putting on these anti flap kits is one, to stabilize the awning, and two, to stop the awning from flapping around. As well, we can add walls to them later on. So we're gonna need a ladder to tighten these up. So we push them apart, tighten the thumb screw up, then hold the vinyl and then clamp down the black handles onto the vinyl. So just be careful not to overstretch. Move it along and then that's one. Then what we do is with the curved rafters, same scenario as what the anti-flap kit is. We hook into the bracket and then into the holes in the barrel. The curved rafters are there pretty much to stop the water from pooling in the awning. Now that helps the flap as well and keeps it up. And then done. So the draft skirts are all press started on. What we normally do is we start off with the step side first. So roll that out. This is provided you've got a step. If you don't, then it just obviously just goes to the side. Put the step on there first. Then it's the other studs pressing on, putting those on. So the flap comes on the outside and then your flooring. Rubber flooring or your grass flooring can go over the top of that. Other press stud comes through to there. And just working your way all the way around. Bringing that out. And then your flooring will sit over the top of that. Okay, so we have side strip. Side strip goes up the side of the van. What we need to do is we have the Velcro facing out towards the outside. Then we slide it up through the trap, all the way up the top. That'll go past the anti-flap kit on the top there. And then we come back and Velcro that to the side. Now we've got a front one, then we've got a rear one as well. So again, having this facing the Velcro facing outward, we slide up, all the way up to the top, Velcro facing in and slides up, Velcro's up to that. Okay, once we've got the rollout awning out, anti flap kits are on, curb rafters in, draft skirt on, we've got the side strips that are already put in there, we're putting in the end wall and then the long walls for the annex. What we need is a ladder, get into the middle, locate your end wall, 
Now, we have annex walls that are made here in Australia. They're Australian canvas. They've been treated. Great product. They have heavy duty zippers, screens that go through all the windows as well, and heavy duty straps on the side. So once we've got it into the Andy flap kit, we slide the front one in, then the rear one up to the side strip. We we'll bring that up to there, then relocate your ladder, and then get your hand in behind, this hand, <laughs> and then Velcro that off onto the walls. Once that's done, all the way down, Velcro through. And that will Velcro off under there. Then what we do is we get the, the flaps. The flaps will come on the inside and then your flooring will go over the top of that. So we're setting up the long walls now. What we do is once the awning is set up with your end wall and your anti flap kits and bars, we're sliding in the track on the barrel. It is a one person operation, but if there is two people, it does make it a little bit easier. But sliding it in yourself, you can do it. So once you put this one in, now, what we do is we slide in this wall first. So we've got long tab on this side, short tab on this side. So what we do now is slide this all the way over. Once it's to there, you line it up with the anti flap kit. So what we're trying to do as well, we have a centre hole in the awning here, which we put in another pole in a minute. That'll line up with the other wall. So we line the zipper up here first. So that'll zip up, come through, straight down. Again, with the heavy duty zippers makes it a lot easier than a little spiral zippers. Then we get the other wall and we're gonna slide that through. This will join onto the other one. The two walls separate, make it a lot easier to handle instead of one big heavy wall. And as well, if you don't want to use all the walls in one go, you can have it separate. So you can do the back wall and end side wall and have the front open, or vice versa on there. Bring the other tab up, the slider. That'll slide down and then straight through. Then what we do is we bring the flaps on the inside and ready to go. So with the long tabs on the either side, the rear and the front, we've got the centre tabs here. We have a hole drilled up underneath here. Your pole will go straight up into the hole, undo it, have that down, that'll line up, and then you've got your Velcro tabs, which Velcro all the way around. So you've got the middle ones, you've got the top ones as well. They will Velcro around. So this will stop the wind from hitting it as much and then try and eliminate the bit of the flap around when the awning is up. So once we've done the centre pole in the centre of the long wall with the Velcro tabs, we come up to the end ones, open them up, and then these will Velcro around the pole itself. all the way around and then there so you got three on each wall so you've got the top ones you've got the bottom ones and you've got the middle ones really good in the wind stabilizes the wall as well makes it nice and tight and then there so we're going to set up the end wall now now setting up the end wall into the anti flap kit we've got two ways to do it there's two tracks in the anti flap kit there's a bottom track and there's a top track the wall will slide in through the top track of the anti flap kit. So therefore, when we do the porch out the front, the porch will slide into the bottom track and go through. So we slide those all the way up. Again, same as what the rear wall was. We come along here, 
We'll throw those up. All the way through. And make sure that's velcroed up nice. Okay, so once the end wall's on, we seal up, join the two together, zipper all the way down, lift up, all the way down. Then what we can do is with the other straps as well, we will velcro around there, onto there. The top one as well. And the bottom one. And we're done.